So what happens when you have way too big of a heart? You bring strange cats home. This little buddy was hanging out outside my work and on my break, he kept crying and crying. So I went to see if he would eat some of the chicken out of my lunch. He ended up eating all of the chicken out of my lunch. And when I realized that he would eat out of my hands, I slowly started working up to petting him. I'm like, okay, you are definitely not a feral cat. And we got to the point where, well, we ran out of chicken, so then I had to go and buy some wet cat food on my break, and then had him eating that, and he ate so much food, he was obviously starving, and he is definitely skinny. But um, then I was petting him while he was eating, and slowly just kind of scooped him up, and he went in the box. <laughs> I actually lost him once, but luckily he came back for more food, and we did it again, and secured the box better. And here we are, purring and happy. We're in my shower right now, because we don't know if you're sick, and I don't want my boys to get anything. Oh, hi. You're gonna, well, you're gonna come out in the bathroom, but I do wanna, he does got a boo-boo. I'm wondering if one of the other cats around there, because there's a lot of cats there. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I can't keep you, buddy. But we will find you a place that'll find you a home.